As we get closer to Christmas, a big effort is underway right now to make sure hundreds of children in St. John's County have food to eat over the winter break. Hugs Across the County, a nonprofit made up of volunteers, is partnering with the community to provide more than 1,000 bags of food to students in need this month, and they really could use your help. For the sixth year in a row, Hugs Across the County is helping make sure no students in St. John's County are hungry over the holidays. This is the 10 breakfasts and 10 lunches they would have received if they were in school over the Christmas holidays. We started out originally with about 150 bags, and we have grown to uh, 1,200 bags last year, and we served 38 out of 39 schools. And Holly Ross is the food program uh, coordinator for Hugs, which works year-round to provide for the hundreds of homeless students in the St. John's County School District and other students who are in need. Guidance counselors identify the students, so we rely on the schools to um, let us know how many bags that they would like to receive. Donations are welcome. $20 is what it costs to provide meals for one student for the 10 days they're out of school. In addition to monetary donations, you can also donate food. We have very specific items that we're looking for. Those are things like ravioli, full-size Cheerios, saltine crackers. As people hear about the program, they get really excited and they want to have um, food drives and and uh, packing events. And so we have a number of neighborhoods that have continued year after year to um, bring their neighborhoods together and help provide food. Once all the food is collected, students from Creekside and Ponte Vedra High School will help pack the bags. It's a great way to give back to the community and have people feel like they're taking part and doing something to help another child in need. So if you're interested in helping, the deadline to donate food is December the 10th for the drop off location and a complete list of the items needed or to make a monetary donation online. I've posted a link inside this story. Just head to firstcoastnews.com.